really got my start in photography in high school. Uh, I was kind of fascinated with photography, fascinated with cameras, I should say. I didn't really know much about photography. And I had an uncle who was a photographer in Decatur, and that kind of intrigued me. And He let me play with the camera once, and I thought that was just really cool. Uh, so as I got old enough, I got on the yearbook staff in high school as a photographer and learned how to point a camera and the, the basics of developing film. And this was back in the late 60s, early 70s. What became me really happened gradually over a long period of time. Uh, after working in uh, photojournalism, which is very much about recording the scene as it is, and that was in the 70s, so that was obviously all film. Uh, I gradually transitioned to digital, and the digital darkroom really opened up my capabilities for expanding beyond just what the scene looked like to interpreting what the scene looks like to me. About a year ago, I stumbled by accident into a, uh, a format that I call Hyper Detail. Uh, I had recently upgraded to a higher resolution camera, and I had a photo of a canoe uh, with the sun setting behind it. In fact, it was well after sunset. It was about a 30 second exposure. Uh, and I really loved the picture. And as I was working the picture in Photoshop and cleaning up some of the, the stains on the, the deck where the canoe was sitting, uh, I discovered there was a mosquito very clearly visible sitting on the bow of the canoe. And when I started thinking of that picture as a mosquito on a red canoe rather than a canoe at sunset, all of a sudden the picture became much more intriguing. From that, I've started exploring that more often using the, the hyper-detailed aspect of both the high-resolution camera and then also using that camera to create stitched panoramas that are even greater detail. My name is Craig Stocks, and my art works in Illinois. <laughs>